Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to create this look in just 5 minutes. So the first thing we want to do is go to Artec 3D and download any 3D scan they have for free. I use the OBJ torso and after that I go directly to Cinema 4D and I drag and drop the torso OBJ. I leave the settings like they are and the first thing we need to do is to kind of change the anchor point of the 3d scan sometimes they are not centered so i go to the top view and make sure i can move my anchor i move it to the center and then i can start to set up my animation so i make sure my timeline is five seconds I uh, apply a keyframe and at the end of the 5 seconds I type 359 so that it kind of creates a loop. Because of Cinema for the animation default we want to make it a little bit more linear so we go to the F-curve editor and we make the animation linear. So it's gonna give more feeling of a scan than having it too smooth. Okay, after this we can move on and create our light. We create an area light and uh, make sure it's placed a little bit on the side, you can play around with it. Make sure the type is area and the shadow is shadow map soft. I will go to the top view and a little bit rotate it. Perfect. So after this I create a material and apply to the torso. I open the material editor. I make sure I choose a color for the material. I go to the luminance and texture. I apply an effect called substance scattering. In substance scattering I change the color and play around with whatever looks good and this is the most important part this is what will give us the look um, it changes according to scene by scene so you can read online how to set it up properly but we just will play around now and see which one looks better so i hit render and i already see that we kind of get this look already i play around with different options and maybe move a little bit the light And it looks quite good already. Let's try with some more shadow. Yeah, this is the look that looks nice. Perfect. After this, we want to render it, right? So we go to settings, to the output, we put uh, 1920 by 1080 uh, make sure the frame range is all frames and then we choose a path for saving our file as you can see I have rendered one version already but we can create a new folder it can be anything torso 2 and torso right so after that be free to hit render that's all we just use standard and nothing else um, yeah so let's hit render and let's wait a bit so after I've rendered everything um, this is one of the versions I did and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and found it useful uh, I kind of love this look and I have downloaded different sculptures and different statues and they really do make really cool effects so play around with it and I hope you enjoy